What's up guys? Welcome back to the playthrough of Sintro 2 on Hardcore Difficulty. Uh, this is an old favorite of mine. One of my fav most favorite non-RPGs. I never finished it because I was doing it for my old channel. So hopefully I can, we can finish this. Let me know if you're interested in seeing more. Because these do take a long time to edit. last year in an assassination attempt against then decorated police officer Troy Bradshaw. In the resulting trial, Gat was convicted of one count of attempted murder and a staggering 387 counts of first degree murder, promptly sending him to death row. Hey Barry, turn this shit off! Yeah, I was watching that. I guess you're not anymore, are you, bitch? Could you turn the TV back on? In a few short moments, we'll be allowed back in the courtroom and we'll find out, once and for all, if Mr. Gat will go home a happy man or a dead one. Back to you, Jack. Oh, shit. All right, we got some respect. If you look in the upper upper right corner, you see the respect meter. And I might, I might upload the first playthrough as part zero, just because not much happened. Not much happened in the first episode, like, at least in terms of gameplay. Okay. The baseball bat is tight. Damn it, Link, pick it up, you bitch! Fuck you! Wait. No. No. Why should not let me spare? Okay. Baseball bat's like the best weapon. Well, that's melee weapon. I like this car. It reminds me a little bit of my... I've never had my own car. Oh shit, fuck you guys. Yeah, I've never had my own car, but... I drove my parents' car in high school around. And it was sort of like this. It was, uh... I don't know if I want to say the name, like it's... We're on the wrong side of the road, aren't we? Okay, that works. Although we gotta get a new car, because this one's like smoking already. Actually, we're gonna... Let me take your car, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, so... Yes. Um... Yeah, I might upload this as part one and the first part is part zero. Just because, like, the gameplay is starting to get harder now. The first one was kind of, like, tutorial easy. But... Stop! That hurts! Stop hitting me! Stop hitting me! But, yeah, this might seem like a Grand, Grand Theft Auto clone. I don't remember how to... Oh, you wanna fight me now. Some of these... Do I have any food? Um... Don't do this at home, kids. I don't know if the health regens automatically. Oh, it's all like wavy now. So we're like fucked up. Blazed up. On the blunt chronic. Wait. I like this shotgun. Ah! 
Mr. Gat, you've been convicted of over 300 murders. Do you really expect this appeal to work? I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. There's no statute of limitations for murder! Why the fuck not? Watch yourself, Mr. Gat. Or what? You hold me in contempt of court? You're already planning on giving me the chair. You think I give a shit about you not liking me? Fuck off. I'm curious if you can keep your cavalier attitude when 2,000 volts are running through your body. Oh yeah? And I'm curious if you can keep acting like a douchebag when I shove that gavel up your ass. My client would like that stricken from the record. What's that? Drop it. Uh, anyone hit and need a lawyer? Shit. About time your burnt ass woke up. You okay, Johnny? Yeah, aside from almost getting sent to the chair, I'm fucking great. Hey, you look different. You do something with your hair? You ready to get out of here? So yeah, that lawyer, it's a Johnny Cochran reference. Again, for all you... But yeah, all you millennials and zoomers... You might not be old enough to remember the O.J. Simpson trial. If, uh, if you're a zoomer or even even a millennial, you might not, but... Yeah, that Johnny Cochran. O.J. Simpson, in a knit cap, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. My client would like that stricken from the record. Oh, the judge wants some shit. You know you don't. Yeah, and after this episode, I'm probably gonna... <laughs> I, was, I was gonna like, sneak up on him, but... I guess not. I guess... So we got a limited window for that. So I didn't want to waste the shotgun, but I'll... Let's reload that. And yeah, this, like I said, this is hardcore difficulty. It just, it does get harder. Um, later missions. Alright, so is my health gonna be jammed? Do I have any food? No, I don't have any food. Fuck. Oh yeah, use him as a human shield. Nice. Okay, I hope those regen automatically, I guess, so... I don't know if I needed to use that blunt. Thanks for busting me out. Aisha would've killed me if I got executed. You still with Aisha? Yeah, I mean, got a little tricky with me on death row and her being on the DL after faking her own death, but, you know, we found a way to make it work. How long were you in jail, anyway? Two years and 31 days. Not like you were counting. Yeah, right? You know, it's weird. People inside were betting how long I'd last. See, when I was first busted, guards were always trying to put me in the ground. After Troy became chief of police, it all stopped. Troy must be more forgiven than I am. Troy's the chief of police? Yo, you better start getting with the times. Julius is missing, Ben King wrote an autobiography, Dex is a... You know, don't even get me started with Dex. But the real kicker is Troy. In a couple of months, he went from undercover cop to chief of police. And word is, he's become obsessed with finding out what happened on your little boat trip with the Alderman. If I get some free time, I might swing by the station and say hello. So like I said, there is... I don't need to shit like I'll show the... I'll show the drive-in if there's, like, action, but... Don't make them kill. Yeah, use all your notoriety. May Arlon Hibbert protect you from the forces of X2. Alright, so we're... Are we good to go? They might... We good? They're probably gonna jump us after we steal... Get the cop car, but... Whatever. Let's 
one. Maybe I should have taken a different car. Fuck. Fuck you. Oh yeah, so, so I'm saying like this does look like a Grand Theft Auto clone, but there's like, and I'll, obviously I haven't, I've never played Grand Theft Auto or watched anyone play, so I honestly can't comment on what the game's like, but this has like interesting story and characters, I think it's kind of like lighthearted, doesn't take itself too seriously, although there's some dark stuff in, the, in it. Ooh, got the cash. Cash money. And a crib. Alright. Right, so you gotta build up your respect meters so you can do missions. So there's like a lot of like side quests, I guess you could call it. Alright, so I guess we're gonna stop it here. Like I said, after this, I'm gonna have the air conditioner on because yeah, it's it's really hot in here. It's like almost 80 degrees in my room right now, so. Anyway, you wish you could have this. Mm mm mm. That's tight. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>